Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So this is video number four of Redis uh, tutorial playlist. And in this lesson, we are going to learn about Redis lists. So Redis li lists is one of the data type which we use to implement either stacks or queues kind of implementation. So we are going to log into Redis uh, CLI. And let me do one thing. Let me open the documentation here. Okay, so uh, again, guys, I'm always referring to Redis.io documentation. So it is always a good practice that while you are learning, you should also go through the, you go through the documentation documentation okay so let me run flush all command to flush all the data first and I'm just going to log into redis client again okay so here you can see we are uh, logged into redis client and then we are going to write keys star and here you can see currently we do not have any data now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to write some data to redis uh, using redis lists okay so I'm going to use l push so we use L push when we want to do uh, when we want to insert the data from the left side. Okay, so it is more like a, uh, let me show you actually stack and queue it will give you some idea about. I I know most of you already know about stack and queues, but still just want to you know for the people who don't really who don't know much. This is how you know when you do uh, when you do L push data is going to be coming from this side okay this is how you can visualize it so basically you are adding the data on the left so you are adding the data on top okay so let me add the data here and that will start uh, to make sense so let's say we have all the user ids let's say we are making an application which has all the user ids and once the user id or once the user is let's say subscribing or entering to the chat room we want to add their IDs uh, into Redis. Okay, so here we are going to call L push user ID and let's say user ID is called 101. And then I want to add another ID which is called 103. I want to add for another user which is 103, another user which is 104. And now let's say I want to see all the data which is there now in uh, user ID key. So in order to see all the data, we can do L range and then we need to give the key name which is user id and then we need to tell how many values we want to see from the list so i want to see all the values so in order to see all the values the starting position is going to be zero and the ending position is going to be minus one so here you can see we have got all the value now you see when we inserted uh, 101 uh, data was here and then we added one more uh, entry which is 102 so you can see here the next data which we added it is actually uh, it was on top of 101 and the last data which we added is on the topmost okay is the topmost value at the moment so now let's say we want to you know kind of do now a stack implementation so in that case if we want to do stack uh, sorry if we want to do queue implementation let's take an example of queue implementation first so in that case we can use rpop and if you want to use stack implementation, in that case, we can use LPOP to pull the values one by one from uh, this uh, from this uh, key. Okay, so I'm just going to show you, let's say we uh, we are doing LPOP. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm actually doing this stack implementation first. So we need to give this key ID, which is called user ID. And that's all. You can just hit enter. And once I hit enter, in that case you will see we are going to get value 104 okay let me hit enter and you can see we got value 104 because the last value which went in is going to be the first value which is going to come out okay that's how stack works right and then we are going to talk about q so in for q we can just use r pop so in this case the output is going to be 101 here you can see this is output which we have got so we use queue when we want to implement first in first out uh, sort of scenario okay so these are uh, these are the commands which you can use and let's see uh, there is other command which is called l length and this command is used to see total number of uh, total number of items which is available for that key so let's do l length user id and here you can see right now we have only two items now remember guys when we used lpop so lpop actually removes the item and gives you the item back okay uh, gives you the uh, returns you the removed item back here okay as an output but it removes that item from the key 
So that's why when we used LPOP and RPOP, we eventually ended up removing two items. Uh, so here in this, now we have only two items left. And if you want to see uh, which are those two items, we can again use L range user ID 0 to minus 1. And here you can see we have only 102 and 103. These two IDs are left here in the in this key. Okay, so let's see if we need to learn something else here. Again, yeah, there is one uh, one important thing. Let's see if we want to uh, cap the number of values which can be added in a list. So you can do that as well. Okay, so for example, in this case, uh, I think here you can see in this case, uh, ltrim command is being used to limit the value to only 100 values. Okay, let's say we don't want to add more than 100 values. In that case, whenever we whenever we run l push or r push command, after that we need to run zero. Uh, after that we can run ltrim uh, key id and 0 to 99 represents that the max value which we want is only 100 and if you are interested in knowing the total number of uh, uh, items or total number of values which can be stored in uh, redis so this is the limit limit is huge it is like uh, how many items are this is 4 billion yes looks like 4 billion elements which we can uh, store now let's uh, do one thing since we have been using redis client let's uh, let's clear clear the screen and also let's use uh, python in order to perform the same operation okay so here i'm going to use python and i'm using uh, redis package so here you can see uh, this is the syntax which we are using to connect to redis and if our connection is successful we should be able to see this output okay so you should be able to see this output redis connection pool and connection it is going to tell you the host you are connected to port and the db which you are connected to now let's say we want to write uh, again some element to the same key which we had which is user id so let me do one thing um, we are going to use l hang on let's start with l push and then let's say the key id is user id and we are going to add one more id which is called 110 and let's run it now you can see it has returned three which means right now there are three elements in in this user id now i'm just going to add one more item and now you can see it is returning the total number of items which is available there in this list so now I'm going to uh, go back to the CLI and I'm going to use L range and going to use, you know, uh, yeah. So we can use L range in order to see all the values which are available there. So here we can see that whatever, uh, whatever data which we wrote using Python, uh, that data is there in the database as well. So now let's add some random data uh, programmatically to redis so i'm going to use range so let's say for i in range again guys uh, this is not really a python tutorial so i'm not really going much into much detail of uh, how python uh, syntax and semantics work but i'm just going to uh, show you that if we use this it is going to print 1 to 100 value okay now let's say i want to add uh, each of these value to uh, redis in that case i'm just going to replace this with replace the print with redis client dot l push user id and here i'm going to give i and we are going to write value added here you can see so all of these values uh, should be there in uh, redis now so we can run this l range again and here you can see all the values are there okay now uh, let's say you want to basically now start working on these values one by one uh, in kind of a stack a stack order so in that case we can now what we can do is we can uh, let me do one thing we can do redis client and dot again guys remember we need to use lpop for implementing stack and then we are going to write user id 
and then we need to i think that's all we don't need to write anything else here uh, but before i even run it i would like to use a range first i would like to see how many elements are there in in this uh, key first okay because we want to run this loop until we process each of these items so for that case we can use l length and then i'm going to say user id now i'm just going to run this uh, cell now here you can see we in total we have 103 uh, items or 103 elements there in this list at the moment so now we are going to pop each item one by one uh, until this list is completely processed so i'm going to create uh, again i'm going to create a loop so i'm going to say while the length of this user id is not equal to 0 we want to keep on popping that value or rather we can yeah we, we want to pop that value and also want to print that value here so once this this is completely processed after this we are going to see uh, the key length again and then we will see that all the value has been processed the key length should be zero so let's run it here you can see we got all the reply from redis and now if i run l range or l length let me run this l range from uh, cli so here you can see if we run l range now there is no item available there and we can also run l length okay so you can see here there's zero items available there so this is how basically you you use redis list and i have also shown you how you can interact uh, or read or write data using ready cli and python if you still have any question please feel free to let me know in the comment box i'll be more than happy to answer thank you so much for watching